Welcome back to Nailed It. Today I have this beautiful Surf City set for you guys. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to recreate it. First off, I'm starting on a finished file nail and I'm going to go in with my sponge and into hunks and trunks and I'm going to dab that on all of my nails and then following that I'm going to take another piece of the sponge and I'm going to go in to she's a copper catch and I'm going to do the same thing and then I'm going to go in and do the same thing for sun bum so um, I'm using three different sponges to do this technique and make sure you clean up your side walls and your cuticle area before you stick it in the light to cure so once I'm done with that I'm going to cure my light for 30 seconds oh and just in case someone is curious I use light elegance um, cosmetic pink to build out my nails this time instead of using the clear builder gel um, so that's why my nails are pink <laughs> Next, I'll just be repeating the same step and adding a second layer. Um, I absolutely love the way that this set came out. I first originally thought Hunks and Trunks was a red color, but it's definitely more of a pink color now that I applied it on my nails, which is a little bit different than Let's Pollinate, but it's still very similar. <laughs> so once I'm done with that, I'm going to cure my light again for another 30 seconds now on my thumb I'm going to wipe off that sticky layer and I'm going to go in with my detailer brush and my light elegance buttercreams and just black and I'm going to paint kind of like the sand and then flash cure it in my light for 10 seconds after I'm done flash curing I'm going to be painting my palm trees so this is pretty much self-explanatory, but when you're doing the leaves, you're gonna to wanna to have the lightest touch you possibly can have. So um, it's very easy to do, and I promise you guys, even if you're um, just a beginner, I think that you can, you can definitely do this design. So the trick that I use on the leaves is to not cure it, and then just kind of barely pull it with your brush, the tip of your brush, so that it makes like a little leafy effect, well like a palm tree effect. Um, this works absolutely phenomenal if you did not cure your gel, but if you cured it, um, it might be a little bit more tricky, but I would suggest to do it with it not being cured. But since you wiped off that sticky layer, it's not gonna run anywhere. And after I cured that in my light for a full 30 seconds, I'm gonna go in and I'm going to make the second palm tree. And I'm just gonna do the same technique that I did for the first one. And then I'm going to give it a full cure in my light again for another 30 seconds. some sparkle to this design I'm going to be going in with light elegance woody and before I cure that I'm going to go in with light elegance hot dogger right on top and I'm going to give it a full cure in my light for 30 seconds I just love hot dogger and woody paired together it just looks amazing you guys now I'm going to go in with light elegance one step and I'm going to make sure I don't have any lumps or any divots in my nail and then I'm going to cure that in my light for 30 seconds After I'm done with that, I'm going to go in with Light Elegance Super Shiny Top Coat 
and I'm going to apply that on my nails and then cure my light for 60 seconds. Now I'm going to be taking my IBD nail glue and some black gems and I'm going to just be applying that on my nails and I just love how this tied in my set. And once I'm done with that I'm going to seal that in with Light Elegance Top Gloss and cure my light for another 60 seconds. These are my final results. If you like this look, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!